mini bikes are all about having fun whether you're a new rider or a seasoned rider and you just want to have some fun and bust some wheelies get some stoppy action some slide action well in this video i'm going to tell you about the new 2020 300 navi and dax 125 and also some other cool mini bikes and why you should get one let's go for a ride <laughs> subscribe today and i have some links to some awesome gear if you want to get it i have links to all my gear in the description and comment section of this video you see i have so much fun on my supermoto but it wasn't until i bought my surron x and ripped the throttle for the very first time that i really appreciated the mini bikes oh, oh man oh ah. I looped a wheelie and had a real effed up day, but what I love about these mini bikes is, is that you can have an effed up day and you're not going to get hurt too bad, and you have fun doing it. These mini bikes are great to help you get started to learn how to do a wheelie and all kind of other tricks. But let me tell you about one of the most affordable mini bikes you can buy on the market right now, the new Honda Navi which is only 1800 bucks and it has a 109 cc single cylinder four stroke air cooled engine with an automatic CVT transmission so no clutch no shifting just twist and go which is great for you new riders to start on you can take it anywhere have fun it has a top speed of 50 miles an hour and it only has a 30 inch seat height so all you shorties can ride it nearly anybody can ride this mini bike but it does have some budget stuff on the bike to get to that low price it has drum brakes I didn't even know they even made drum brakes anymore man <laughs> <laughs> but hey the bike stops it's small it's only weighs 236 pounds wet so the brakes are adequate to stop it but it, they're not the best brakes and it has a fuel capacity of only 0 0.9 gallons uh, compared to some of the other mini bikes that have uh, bigger fuel tanks but hey man it's only 1800 bucks if you want to step up to something better, you can always go with the new Honda Grom, but it's nearly double the price at $34.99. But it does have a 124cc engine with a top speed of 58 miles an hour, so it's 8 miles an hour faster. And it has a 5-speed transmission, so you can learn how to shift on this bike and learn how to do clutch-up wheelies, which is awesome. It has a bigger fuel tank, 1.6-gallon fuel tank, same 30-inch seat height. It has a little bit better brakes. It's got disc brakes, so much better. Or you can get the brand new 2023 Honda DAX 125, which costs 3600 bucks, And it's a throwback to the old DAX CT70 that ran from 1969 to 1981. So you kind of get that retro old school look, but it's got the new technology with the 124cc air-cooled single-cylinder engine. 9 horsepower, 8 pound-feet of torque, top speed of 55 miles an hour. The transmission is a four-speed semi-automatic transmission, so no clutch, but you'll change gears with the foot shifter. Um, it has the same 30-inch seat height, so it's still that mini bike. Uh, it has dual-disc brakes. It has an LCD dash. It's 236 pounds. Uh, it has 12-inch wheels front and rear. The suspension has a, a front fork with 3.9 inch of travel. And it, it has twin shocks for the rear, like old school, with 4.7 inches of travel. Hey, man, this is a pretty cool little bike. If you like that retro look but want something a little different but with better brakes, check out the Honda Monkey, which costs $41.99. This has ABS brakes, 5-speed transmission, and it has a 1.5-gallon fuel tank. Or it may be a better deal to get the Kawasaki Z125 for $33.99 because it's faster with a top speed of 64 miles an hour and a bigger fuel tank at 2 gallons, yet it has disc brakes. Or you can do like I did and go electric and get a Suron X shipped to your door for $4,200. It looks like an e-bike, but technically it's an e-dirt bike. But I'll tell you this, guys, I thought I wasted money on this thing when I first got it, man. But as soon as I ripped the throttle on this thing and I looped a wheelie, I was like, man, this thing is fun. <laughs> i tell you, it's something about that electric torque that is really awesome. I thought the lack of sound on it would be not fun to me. But i tell you, the thing is fun. I love that whine. It doesn't annoy my neighbors. I ride this on my trails at my country property down in Georgia and the thing's fun and then I take it out on the street and it's really fun. It only does a what top speed of 46 miles an hour but the thing only weighs 100 pounds so it feels 
you know, a lot lighter and quicker than it actually is. And hey, it doesn't require any maintenance, no fuel, no oil, nothing, man. I charge it in three hours from zero to 100, and I charge it with my solar generator for free. If you want to get my solar generator and solar panel, I have links to it in the description and comment section of this video. And I can take it anywhere on the streets. I can take it on the uh, bike path. I can take it on the sidewalk. I can take it on a mountain bike trail. I tell you, this thing is really fun off-road, man. It's really awesome. And if you crash, you don't get hurt bad like you do on a dirt bike, man. It's awesome. Uh, I really, really, truly love this Surron X, man. I tell you, it's it's a fantastic buy at $4,200. Bucks. Uh, I like those other mini bikes. Um, but in my opinion, you get like a much better deal with this because it's more versatile, this Surron X. And you don't have to deal with any maintenance. You don't have to get a license plate. You don't have to get a motorcycle license. You don't have to get insurance like you do with motorcycles because this thing, it looks like an e-bike. So you can pretty much go anywhere. You can even take it to an MX track. I mean, you can take it anywhere. Just go ride it anywhere anybody of any age that's what's really awesome about it it's automatic there's no gear shifting or anything i can give this to my my little cousins and they can get on it and have fun with it it has two riding modes on it the, the, like the sport mode and then the slower uh mode um really awesome man i tell you guys don't knock it until you try it and if you want to upgrade the power you can upgrade the controller and upgrade to a bigger battery and this thing will do 85 miles an hour but that would be terrifying on this 100 pound bike man and it's a lot more expensive to do those upgrades it's like anywhere from like three to four thousand dollars which is not worth it to me man because not for what i do so just in stock form this thing is great Hey, if you're looking for a more affordable e-bike that folds that you can put in the trunk of your car and you can ride it off-road and on the streets, but it only does 25 miles an hour, but this thing is fun and it pedals, I did a full review on this Hay Bike Folding e-bike and I love this thing, man. I have a link to get this bike at a discount in the description and comment section of this video. But anyways, guys, leave a comment below. Let's talk about it. Make sure to hit thumbs up. It really helps my channel. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to my All of One Motorcycle channel. And make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. This is... Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.